Okay, here we go again. Feeding number two. Everybody's in place. Red horse where he goes. He's older. So he eats on a carpet, so whenever he spills, he can clean up without having to worry so much. This beautiful little mare, Two-Tone here. But they don't like the wind. Hey, Teutonian. She's half Arab, half Morgan. And she is her daughter Autumn's horse. And see, she's being snotty to him because I haven't fed yet. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. And there's our little blueberry muffin waiting patiently. And we have our little Calypso down there. And a little rocket in our pocket. And then we have my beautiful mare and her husband Prince there. And those guys' buckets are down there. And I'll wheel the little burrow down there with their feed dishes in it. Everybody has their own bucket with their name on it. Everybody has their own feeding thing. I put their feed individually. Everybody's got a bucket, and then I have a big bucket of mixed feed. I spill a little bit. And then I put it in proportionally to what they need. And then I dish it out. I give Rocket his first, and then Muffin, Teutonian, and then the Red Horse. Then I go down and I give the Prince of Ties his, Calypso, and then my mare Tutone, I mean my mare Touch and Go is behind the trees. And then I let them eat, and then I turn them all loose after they're done. That way nobody steals. See, Prince is getting mad because I haven't eaten. He hasn't eaten yet, so he's going to go take it out on Calypso, but he can't get her because there's a fence between them. Uh huh. Alrighty, anyway, I won't delay them any longer. They're getting mad. Love everybody. <laughs> I love you too, even though you're not my pony. So I'm going to need to pay for your feed someday. That'd be nice. <laughs>